In July 2025, astronomers spotted an interstellar object behaving like no comet ever recorded. It appeared to be dragged by a force that is not gravity, with a glowing teardrop stretching toward the sun itself. Official theories fail to account for a constant, sun-facing push. If 3i Atlas is pulling a hidden swarm through our solar system, even NASA is left searching for answers. What invisible force is at work, and what secrets does this alien visitor carry? In November 2025, a new set of images arrives from telescopes scattered across the globe. Each observatory, from small amateur setups in South America to major research stations in Europe and Asia, contributes to a nearly unbroken chain of nightly monitoring. The cadence is relentless, every clear night another data point, another look at the interstellar visitor now racing away from the sun. One photograph, taken just weeks after perihelion, stands out. Instead of the classic fan of dust trailing away from the sun, the image reveals a glow stretching sunward, a soft, luminous teardrop that points directly toward the star. This is not a trick of exposure or a product of scattered starlight. The glow appears in independent frames from at least four continents, always reaching toward the sun, not away. The effect is subtle but unmistakable. In some images, the main body of 3i Atlas sits at the edge of a diffuse, elongated haze. The brightness gently tapers off toward the sun, forming a structure that defies expectations for a comet. Normally, solar radiation blows gas and dust outward, sculpting tails that stream away from the sun, never toward it. Here, the brightest extension clings to the sunward side. Independent astronomers, many working outside large institutions, share their findings in real time. Online forums light up with annotated images and time-lapse sequences. Some observers use specialized filters to isolate the sunward glow, confirming it is not an artifact of the Earth atmosphere or instrumental quirks. Others compare exposures taken hours apart, showing the teardrop feature persists as 3i Atlas drifts across the sky. The growing archive of images invites more questions than answers. Each new observation adds another layer of complexity, hinting at a structure or behavior that standard comet models cannot easily explain. The global, collaborative nature of this monitoring effort ensures that the evidence for the sunward teardrop is not the product of a single instrument or observer. Instead, it becomes a shared puzzle, pressing astronomers to reconsider what a comet, especially one from another star, can look like. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory maintains a running record of 3i Atlas's position, speed, and trajectory. Every new image and measurement is folded into this global dataset. But as the object moves farther from the sun, a stubborn pattern appears in the numbers, one that cannot be dismissed as a trick of the camera or a miscalculation. The equations that describe its path start to drift from what gravity alone predicts. Each update to the official ephemeris requires a small but consistent correction. 3. I-Atlas is moving outward just a bit faster than gravity should allow, as if something is giving it a subtle push away from the sun. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory analysts, working with data from dozens of observatories, try to account for every known source of error. They adjust for light pressure, known comet outgassing, and even the influence of distant planets. Yet the residuals, the differences between prediction and observation, do not vanish. Instead, they reveal a persistent outward acceleration, roughly 0.00002 times the force of solar gravity. Over a single night, this is almost imperceptible, but over millions of kilometers, the effect is real and measurable. What stands out is not just the magnitude of the push, but its mathematical behavior. Both the sun's gravity and this extra force weaken with distance in exactly the same way, with the square of the distance from the sun. That means the ratio between the mysterious push and gravity stays constant, whether 3i Atlas is near Mars or halfway to Jupiter. In standard comet physics, non-gravitational forces like outgassing fade quickly as a comet recedes from the sun, breaking that ratio. Here, the proportionality holds. The data demand an explanation that goes beyond what images alone can show. For the Jet Propulsion Laboratory team, this is not just a curiosity. 
The persistence of the outward acceleration and its precise inverse square dependence forces them to consider models outside the usual playbook. The numbers are clear. Something is acting on 3i Atlas. That standard comet physics does not predict. The puzzle has shifted from what the object looks like to how it moves and what unseen mechanism could be responsible. At a distance of 270 million kilometers from the Sun, even a small force can add up. The numbers from the NASA JPL Horizon system show that 3i Atlas is being nudged outward by a force about 2 times 10 to the minus 5 times as strong as the Sun's own pull. Over cosmic scales, that sliver of acceleration becomes tangible. Multiply 270 million kilometers by 2 times 10 to the minus 5, and the offset is about 54,000 kilometers, a gap wide enough to swallow several Earths side by side. Avi Loeb and his colleagues took this calculation further, asking what it would look like from Earth's perspective. At that distance of 54,000 kilometer offset projects to roughly 0.7 arc minutes on the sky, that is just over a hundredth of a degree, small, but within reach for the world's sharper telescopes. The sunward teardrop structure, as reported by multiple independent astronomers, lines up with this prediction. The brightest part of the glow sits offset toward the sun by an amount that matches what the numbers demand, not just in one image, but across observations from different continents and instruments. This is a match, repeated and consistent. This is not a coincidence born of fuzzy data or wishful thinking. The geometry is precise. The measured displacement of the teardrop glow toward the sun would be hard to fake or misinterpret if it were just a trick of comet dust or a quirk of the camera. The swarm hypothesis, which proposes that a cloud of tiny objects lags slightly behind the main body, predicts exactly this offset. The math is simple, and the match is striking. For scientists, this kind of agreement between theory and measurement carries weight. It means the swarm model is not just a wild idea, it passes a basic test of geometry and scale. The numbers do not guarantee the swarm exists, but they leave little room for chance. A physical mechanism is needed to explain how the teardrop feature lands right where the math says it should. The puzzle is no longer just about what 3i Atlas looks like, but about why its structure and its motion are so tightly linked. A trillion tiny fragments, each no larger than a grain of sand, could orbit alongside 3i Atlas without ever catching the eye of a casual observer. But together, their collective surface area would dwarf the main nucleus. If these particles add up to 0.1% of the comet's mass, yet spread out over 100 times the area of the central body, the physics of reflected sunlight shifts dramatically. The swarm acts like a vast screen, intercepting sunlight and scattering it in every direction. In this scenario, nearly all of the visible light, up to 99%, would come not from the nucleus itself, but from the swarm. The nucleus, though far more massive, would be almost invisible, lost in the glare of its own traveling cloud. Observations from multiple telescopes show that the brightness profile of 3i Atlas is dominated by a broad, diffuse halo, rather than a sharp, star-like point. The coma stretches outward, with no clear boundary where the nucleus outshines its surroundings. Photometric measurements track the light as it fades gently into space, with the bulk of the glow concentrated in the region offset toward the sun, the same region predicted by the swarm hypothesis. A simple analogy captures the effect, shining a flashlight into fog. The bulb itself is almost impossible to pick out, overwhelmed by the glow that fills the mist. In the same way, the swarm's immense surface area scatters sunlight, creating a luminous haze that masks the true heart of the object. This matches the data collected so far. The overwhelming majority of reflected light appears to come from something larger and more diffuse than a solitary comet core. If these numbers hold up under further scrutiny, the swarm model becomes not just plausible, but necessary to explain what astronomers are actually seeing. Every new data point from 3i Atlas forces astronomers to rethink what interstellar objects can be. The cosmos keeps revealing phenomena that don't fit old categories. Today, the boundary between natural and unknown blurs, and the sky reminds us that our solar system is not a closed chapter. What do you think?